You can park a UAZ inside the squad house in this manner and hide behind it. As soon as anyone approaches you, tap on the Get In button and surprise them. If an enemy is camping on the first floor of the apartments, go and stand over here. Keep the door open. Now look down and jump, pointing your joystick towards the bottom left direction in this manner. You'll grab the door and climb over it. Now just jump towards the window and grab it. Once you're inside the building, surprise your enemy from behind. You can climb this container by getting into this gap and constantly tapping on the jump button. Now hunt for your enemies. Now I'll be showing you the best hiding spot in the school building. Just come to the terrace and jump over to here in this manner. Now prone yourself. You'll get a beautiful angle towards many spots in the building. As soon as you spot someone, just send them back to lobby. During the final zone, if you're taking cover next to a BRDM and the enemy throws a nade near you, just tap on the drive or get in button to save yourself. The BRDM acts like a shield and hence the nade won't do any damage. If an enemy is camping on the top floor of this building in military base, just go to the first floor's balcony and climb on this door. Surprise your enemy and win the fight easily. If you spot an enemy camping inside the open containers, just stand over here and scope in. Now just do single taps and finish in. In situations where you can't see the exact projectile of the nade, use the I button to check the direction and throw it effectively. Whenever you park a vehicle near a building, park it close to a window. In situations where you're left alone and a whole squad rushes towards you, just go near the window and tap on the drive button to escape from that place. Here's an amazing hiding spot inside the military base. Just stand over here and jump onto this container. Now jump towards this fence and go over here to climb onto the cemetery. You'll get a very good angle from here and can take out the enemies easily. If you want to do a small prank over your teammates, try throwing a stun while they're about to loot something. They won't be able to pick anything for a few seconds. Let me show the same thing with my perspective. As you can see, I'm not at all able to pick anything, even though I'm continuously tapping on the loot. If you're in the squad house and an enemy rushes towards you, hide behind this wooden box. You won't be visible at all. When the enemy rushes towards the room, come out and finish them. This is how it looks from an enemy's perspective. You can jump over this wall in ruins and keep climbing until you reach the top. Once you're here, find a good position and prone yourself to get some easy knocks. Here's a good hiding spot inside this building in the military base. Just climb over this door, now jump towards this shelf. Once you're on top of it, wait for your enemies and surprise them. Which is better, an energy drink or a painkiller? A painkiller consumes 10 bits of space in your bag and fills your booster bar by 50%. Whereas two energy drinks consume just 8 bits of space and fills your booster bar by 75%. 
Hence, it's always good to carry as many energy drinks as possible instead of the painkiller. Always prefer to use the right peak. By using the left peak, your body will be more exposed and the enemy can see you clearly. Here's a comparison between both the peaks from an enemy's perspective. There is a misconception where people think that damage really matters based on the distance of the enemy. Let's clear this doubt. So we have two situations. In the first situation, the enemy is standing very close to us. And in the second situation, he's about 50 meters away from us. Now we'll ask him to fire. As you can see, the damage is the same in both the cases. Hence, we can prove that distance doesn't really matter. Always keep your more preferable weapon on the second slot. A weapon kept on the first slot will be drawn from above the shoulder in 0.7 seconds, whereas the weapon kept in the second slot will be drawn from below the shoulder in 0.6 seconds. It would be good practice to give names to a bunch of buildings while playing with your squad. For Pochinki, you could name it as Five Houses, Center, Double Green, Triangle, Six Pack, Road Across, Church, and Squad House. Here's a fun trick. You can knock an enemy seated inside the BRDM using a pan. Just jump once and swing the pan. Boom! Here's a bonus trick. Subscribe to Clash Universe for more awesome content. Also, we'll be doing some Season 13 Royal Pass giveaways soon. So stay subscribed to increase your chances of winning it. And yes, hit the like button. It just takes one second to like this video.